Hey kiddos, how are you doing? Welcome to another super cool Doosh Bio Bomb series. Yes, everybody. So, today's class is very entertaining, very fun. It's a very important class because today's class we are going to be doing types of bones. So, obviously, Bio Bomb series. There is no lecture. There is a small concept that will be given to you, in which maximum possible questions are made. That is the true essence of the Bio Bomb series. Right? You got me right? So, let's start. In a very short way, I will tell you everything about the bones. I'm going to tell you, especially from MCQ point of view. So, don't miss the biobombs. Listen to the attention. And see, today's lecture on types of bones. So, types of bones, there are long bones, right? We have long bones, short bones, irregular bones, seed-shaped bones, all kinds of bones. So, long bones are you know, most prominently and primarily located in the arms, as well as in the legs. So this is the bone of the arm, which are long. These are the leg bones. This, see such a long bone. So long bone of the thigh is referred to as the femur. The head of the femur goes into the acetabulum. See here acetabulum, the hip bone, right? There's a classical example of ball and socket joint. Then we have the humerus, which is the bone of the upper arm. Humerus, radius, ulna, carpal, metacarpal, phalanges. Right? Femur, tibia, right? So these are the long bones. Basic long bones is femur as well as humerus, the thigh bone as well as the upper arm bone. And in the end mein hota hai red bone marrow. Short bones are the really small bones. So the carpals of the wrist and tarsals of the ankle is like an anastomosis or a group of really small bones so that they can help you do a lot of movement. So carpals on the wrist and tarsals on the ankle are the short bones. So we have long and short bones here. Moving ahead, flat bones, chapti. So if you look at the skull and the rib cage, they are flat bones. Frontal is matha. This is your really flat. Dekho apne ab. It's a very flat bone. And the ribs, even the sternum. And the end point of the sternum is referred to as the xiphoid process. Right? See here, the sternum is also a flat bone. Obviously, the ribs are again flat bones. Flat bones also have red bone marrow. So, the ends of long bones and the flat bones have red bone marrow. Irregular bones are the vertebrae. Right? Atlas, axis, C6, C7, very, very irregular bones of the vertebrae. Look at these extremely irregular bones are the vertebrae and the pelvic girdle. Pelvic girdle is nothing but the hip, right? The, this girdle which helps the birds to fly is called the pectoral girdle and the girdle of the hip is called the pelvic girdle. Sesamoid bones are bones which are of the shape of a seed. So the covering of the kneecap is called the patella. Right, the covering of the kneecap, where the top and the bottom of the knee joint, anastomos, in a synovial joint, uski bahar ke covering hoti hai patella. So the patella is looking like a seed, that's why it's called a sesamoid joint. So this brings us to the end of this lecture where we discuss long bones, short bones, flat bones, irregular bones, seed shaped bones. All types of bone with your examples done. Let's erase this slide and make sure you like, share and subscribe to our amazing channel. We Biotonic. Please don't forget your dose. Bye-bye.